Hey everyone, and welcome to the world of colour. Today we're diving into a concept crucial for anyone who works with colour accuracy delta E delta E, DE, isn't a chemical compound, but a metric. It's a way to quantify the difference between two colours. Imagine you have a perfect red apple, but then it gets a little sunburnt. Delta E tells you exactly how much the colour has changed from its original vibrant red. There's a specific formula used to calculate delta E, but it can get a bit technical. Let's focus on the underlying concept. Delta E takes into account three key aspects of colour, hue, chroma and lightness. Delta E considers the differences in all three aspects and combines them into a single number. Before we dive into the calculation, let's take a look at the history of delta E. This concept was first introduced by the International Commission on Illumination, also known as CIE, back in 1976. The CIE was concerned with creating a uniform colour space that could be used universally, and hence the birth of Delta E. Over the years, this concept has significantly evolved to meet the growing needs for colour accuracy in various industries. There are different versions of Delta E, each with their unique calculation method and application. The first version was CIE 76, followed by CIE 94, which was specifically designed for the textile industry. Later, CIED 2000. The most current and accurate version was developed. It's used in a range of applications, from digital printing to food quality control. Understanding the history of Delta E gives us a better grasp of its importance in colour accuracy. It's more than a simple number. It's a testament to our continuous pursuit of precision and consistency in colour representation. Now let's move on to how we actually calculate Delta E. To calculate Delta E, we rely on a colour space called Cialab. This space represents colours as three values, L for lightness, A for the green-red axis, and B for the blue-yellow axis. By comparing the L, A and B values of two colours, Delta E is calculated. The Delta E value tells you how much our sunburnt apple deviates from the original red. Here's a general guideline. DE, 1 is not noticeable by the human eye. DE1, 2 is perceptible with close observation, and DE. 2 means colours become increasingly distinct. Delta E is a powerful tool for ensuring colour consistency in various fields, from printing to manufacturing to even judging how well your apple ripened. Thanks for joining us. And if you have any questions about the fascinating world of colour, leave a comment below. Now that we've delved into the calculation of Delta E, let's explore its practical applications. You might be surprised to know that Delta E is extensively used in industries like printing, photography and manufacturing. It helps in maintaining colour consistency across different devices, ensuring that a Coca-Cola red remains the same, whether you're viewing it on your phone, your laptop or on a printed billboard. Let's take the fashion industry as an example. When designing a new clothing line, designers need to ensure that the colour of the fabric remains consistent across all pieces. Delta E comes into play here, providing a measurable value to compare the colour consistency of each fabric piece to the intended colour. In the world of photography, Delta E is used to ensure accurate colour reproduction from the camera lens to the final printed photograph. A photographer can use Delta E values to fine-tune their camera settings, ensuring that the photos captured are as true to life as possible. As you can see, Delta E plays a crucial role in many industries. It's not just about how ripe your apple is, it's about ensuring the world around us appears as consistent and true to life as possible. So, the next time you marvel at the vibrant colours in a fashion magazine or admire a stunning sunset photo, Remember the unsung hero, Delta E. Scene script. Like any metric, Delta E has its limitations and challenges. Delta E does a great job in quantifying colour differences, but it does not always align with human perception. For instance, certain hues may have the same Delta E value, but to the human eye, one may appear more different than the other. This is because our eyes are more sensitive to changes in certain colours compared to others. Another challenge lies in interpreting delta E values. While a lower delta E value indicates less color difference, there is no universal standard for what constitutes an acceptable delta E value. This lack of standardization can lead to confusion and inconsistency across different industries and applications. Lastly, it is important to remember that delta E 
is an ongoing area of research. Scientists and engineers are continuously working on refining and improving the Delta E formula to better align with human perception and to provide more accurate and consistent results. Despite these limitations and challenges, Delta E remains a valuable tool in many industries for ensuring colour accuracy and consistency. It's a complex but fascinating world out there in the realm of colour science. And Delta E is at the heart of it all. So the next time you pick up a paint swatch or admire a perfectly colour matched outfit, remember the science and the little unsung hero behind it all. Delta E. Voiceover. Looking ahead, the future of Delta E is promising. Emerging technologies, such as artificial intelligence and machine learning, are expected to have a profound impact on the world of colour science. These technologies could offer new ways to calculate and interpret Delta E, potentially overcoming some of the current limitations and challenges. In the near future, we could see more advanced algorithms for Delta E calculation that better align with human perception. These advancements could lead to more accurate and consistent colour matching across different industries and applications. Imagine a world where Delta E values are so precise you could perfectly match the colour of your favourite pair of shoes to your favourite outfit every single time. As the demand for colour accuracy grows in industries like fashion, interior design and digital media, the role of Delta E in these fields is expected to become even more prominent. It is poised to be a driving force in maintaining colour consistency in an increasingly colour-conscious world. The world of colour is constantly evolving and so is Delta E. As we continue to push the boundaries of what's possible in colour science, Delta E will undoubtedly play a crucial role in shaping the future of colour accuracy. So, as we look forward to a more colourful future, let's remember the unsung hero of colour science, Delta E, the metric that makes it all possible.